what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Emily and on my channel you will find a lot of home decor and plant care videos as well as some lifestyle type of videos today I wanted to share with you guys some of my Amazon favorites as you guys already know I moved into this apartment a couple months ago or actually a few months ago it is now going to be about five months I believe which the time flew by so fast I swear it does not feel like it's been five months but this whole year has gone by so quickly so anyways since I recently got my sofa delivered I finally feel a little bit more like my apartment's complete so I wanted to share with you guys some of the Amazon items that I find myself using every single day or something that I realize that I cannot live without and if you're about my age living in an apartment, whether it's alone like me or with friends, I think that these items are crucial. You probably already have them, but I'm just gonna share those with you guys. Today is a nice and gloomy, almost getting sunny day in San Diego. So it's gonna be a fun little video. I am here in my kitchen, so I'm gonna go ahead and start here because this is where the majority of the stuff that I got from Amazon is. So I'm gonna start with my absolute, absolute favorite that I cannot live without. So this is my Chemex coffee maker. Obviously you could buy it at the Chemex website, but I found it on Amazon. It's the eight cup, I believe. So they have different sizes. I did originally want to get the smaller one. And now I realize that this is the way to go because I like to start off my week by brewing the large batch on a Monday, enjoy the hot coffee that day. And then the next days I have this in the fridge ready for iced coffee. So that's really perfect. This is my favorite thing ever. And and while I'm at it, I want to share that I also got the reusable cloth filter from Amazon. So it just works like this and it's like really cute and you're being more sustainable because you are not wasting a bunch of paper coffee filters. Okay, so something else that kind of goes along with that would have to be my kettle. So this is the kettle that I have. They have so many better options, honestly, but I just didn't want to spend too much on one at the time. Maybe later, if this gets a little like worn, then I will upgrade. But for the most part, this is really, really perfect. It's made specifically for pour over coffee. Okay, so next is another coffee item that I like to use. This is the frother that I use to make my coffee in the mornings. So I normally would just drink black coffee. I've been drinking black coffee for a really, really long time. But since moving to this apartment, I decided to make my coffee experience in the morning a little bit more fun. So I really like using a frother so I could froth my milk. So the way that I just use this is I just use my almond milk and I add either a little bit of honey or some cinnamon or any flavoring that you want. Just froth it and pour it over your coffee and it's good to go. It probably doesn't sound that amazing, but something about just having like a frothy milk over your coffee just makes my day. Okay, so another kitchen item that I cannot live without, and if you live alone, this is all that you need. I realized that this one set of Tupperware is literally perfect just for me. If you live with anybody else, then probably purchase two or something. But this has been perfect. I've never needed extra Tupperware or anything, at least for my cooking habits. This has been perfect for my leftovers and stuff. So this is the Rubbermaid brand and it comes with one large Tupperware, two mediums, two smaller ones, and it's honestly perfect. I hardly ever have any large leftovers since I'm just cooking for myself. So the mediums and the smalls are great for that. But the one large one, I really like using this as a salad prepper. Then I like to prep it by adding my romaine lettuce and my mixes in here. And it's great because I purchased these bags that are not sealable, so you'll find that the salad isn't staying fresh. So I'll just go ahead and empty it in here, prep it with some tomatoes, prep it with anything else that I want in my salad, and then whenever it's time for me to enjoy salad, then I'll just take some out of there. So this is really perfect, kind of boring, but I'm a person that loves Tupperware, so definitely recommend this set. Now I'm moving on to a different little category. I just have two items, basically the same thing I guess if you want to count it as the same. But it is something that you should keep in your medicine cabinet or pantry. And that is vitamins and supplements. I'm going to be completely honest with you. It took me a while to get on my vitamin and supplement game. And honestly I could probably improve a little bit more. But I'm going to share with you guys some of my favorite ones. And they're honestly probably just my favorite ones because they come in gummy form. But I 
I've been using the Ollie brand. This one is the Undeniable Beauty. So it comes with biotin, keratin, and vitamin C and E. And the fact that it comes in a gummy, it's pretty great. It's not my preference, but it's just a bonus. But yeah, I have this one. I tried another glowing like skin complexion one. I can't remember what it's called, honestly. But I've used another one by Ollie, and I know they have like a bunch of different ones, and they have really great reviews. I would recommend trying them. The only thing is that it could get a little bit pricey, but when you're investing in your health, then I think it's okay to splurge a little bit so really been liking these and I've been using these for about three months and it's kind of hard to know if like one specific thing is making the difference because I do take other supplements and vitamins but for the most part if you're taking them daily then you know you are doing something good for your body and another supplement that I've been loving are my goalie gummies so these are apple cider vinegar gummies they taste like candy to me and definitely not something I can say about actual apple cider vinegar but what I love about bully vitamins is not only because apple cider vinegar is that number one ingredient but they also use other superfoods to basically mask the taste of the apple cider vinegar so super good and these I really like because you could take up to six gummies a day I don't take that many because then the jar would be completely gone too soon but honestly when I'm craving something sweet or like a candy I will get one of these and it helps so having something like this is honestly kind of like a little treat so I highly recommend Okay, so now moving on from the kitchen related stuff, I wanted to share two different items that I'm starting to use for my candles. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I love candles. I am constantly lighting candles. I have a candle subscription box. I have lots of candles, but I'm not the greatest candle care expert, I guess you could say. But I realized after learning from my friend Ashley, there are some items that you should probably have at your home for your candle care. So that's pretty cool, love that. And then the second thing that I got for my candles is this candle accessory kit. So what it comes with, I can't even remember what this is called. It comes with a candle wick trimmer, the dipper, and the snuffer. I think this is the dipper, or it could be the snuffer. Honestly, I don't know which one that one is, but this is just to like adjust the wick. And then this is the wick trimmer because apparently you're supposed to trim your wicks and I just found that out like not that long ago, but that's really cool. And then it comes with this one. I don't know if this one's considered the, the dipper or the sniffer or whatever it's called. What was it? Dipper or snuffer? Snuffer, but it's basically so you could put out the candle. But I thought that was really cool. I honestly mostly use the trimmer because I didn't realize that you have to trim your wicks and I was like whoa I have a lot of wicks to trim you know but anyways highly recommend this as well if you are a candle lover and now moving on to something a little less fun it's things that you should definitely have in your apartment especially if you're living alone these items are gonna help you get things done by yourself because you don't need anybody else to help you and honestly they are just super helpful items so the first thing is my screwdriver kit. I keep it in this bag because it didn't come in a box or anything. But anyways, it comes with the piece and all of these that you'll like need eventually at some point and you don't even know it, you know? So it has all of those different screws. This set is literally a lifesaver. Highly recommend those. And then, what else? Oh yeah. I've already shared these, but I'm gonna share them again because I'm still asked occasionally. And they are the hooks that I use for whether it's hanging up my plants or honestly, I think it's mostly hanging up my plants. So first are these adhesive hooks. So these are really powerful, love them. They carry up to, what was it, 13 pounds. In order to remove them, you literally need a blow dryer. But these are really, really good, especially if you're, you have like a year lease or you're gonna stay at your place for a couple years 
ears and you know that you really want to keep that specific hook there then these are perfect because they will last and then I also have literally just one left because I'm already using the rest but it's just these hooks that I have also used on my ceiling and they're really really good so these come with the screw and as long as you don't have what is it called like plaster I think as long as you don't have plaster walls or ceilings then these will work at my last place I had plaster walls and these were not it at all but at this apartment these have been perfect and of course when you have hooks like that you then have holes in your walls or your ceilings so I purchased this guy and this is the high strength small hole repair I already used it a couple of times when I made a hole that I shouldn't have and it works pretty well and again this is something that you should really have at your apartment because you're renting and you're probably gonna be making holes in the walls and those are not cute and something else that I like to use when it's not hanging a plant or anything like that and it's more like hanging up a frame or literally any type of wall decor. I love using these Velcro command strips. I use these for all of my wall art. They hold up to 16 pounds, but obviously like you could literally use as many as you want if you're scared that something's super heavy and it's not gonna stay up. You literally just put these all around that and it'll just hold even better. I've been using them for years and they have never, not once, damaged my walls or anything. So highly recommend these. And now something else that's completely boring but I realize that you should probably have, especially if you have hardwood floors in your apartment and you don't wanna damage them, of course, and that is furniture pads. So I got these specifically for my sofa. I noticed that the legs on my sofa would always be constantly moving on my hardwood floors. So obviously I don't want my sofa moving every time somebody sits down because it's not against the wall or anything. So what I did was use these and since they're a little bit big, the cool part is that you literally just cut around it, make it into whatever shape you need for that piece of furniture and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm down to my last two items. These two items I just recently got and I haven't used them yet but when I got them I realized how did I not already have this like for example scotch guard my friends told me that I needed this they saw my new sofa they were like girl you need a scotch guard that thing and I was like what the heck is scotch guard and apparently everybody needs this so you can protect your upholstery but anyways this is a fabric water shield let's just say I'm hanging out with my girls we're eating we're drinking somebody's gonna laugh too hard and spill something and if I have my scotch guard on it I'm I'm gonna be good and it's gonna help protect my new sofa okay and then last item that I recently got that again I cannot believe I did not have already and that is wool balls wool balls for your dryer I'm somebody that always uses dryer sheets and now I'm pretty upset about it like why was I using dryer sheets this whole time when I could have just been using wool balls it's so much better for the environment because you're not wasting a bunch of dryer sheets and in the end this is gonna save you a lot of money dryer sheets you need to buy constantly as you run out but with these guys, this is all you need. Literally one time purchase. Okay, so I just read it and what it's saying is that fabric dryer sheets are single use disposable products that use harsh chemicals to soften clothing, which is bad for the environment and bad for your skin and for your dryer. So, and these wool dryer balls last for thousands of loads and naturally soften your clothes while shortening dryer times, which is something that I did here. Say you're usually drying your clothes for like an hour, apparently it's gonna cut that in half, which is pretty great. But yeah, I'm really excited to use these and just be a lot more sustainable. At the same time, I'm saving money and, and they're kind of cool, right? I mean, step up your laundry game a little bit. But okay guys, that is all for my Amazon favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful whether you're moving anytime soon or found an item in my list that you realize that you might need yourself. I will have all of the items linked down below if you guys want to check them out. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't followed me already on Instagram, you can find me at Classicasita, where I share a lot of home and plant tips and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.